Hello, everybody, and happy Monday, April 11th. I hope you had a great weekend. Gas stimulus for proposals on a federal level. I have more states are given. State like Alaska, California, New Mexico. I'm going to jump into that. Also, will we have a food shortage? Will it be as bad as people starving? No, but who will be paying higher in food real soon because of a shortage in fertilizer? Hello, everybody, and I'm Sal Capano. I'm going to jump into that. I am in and out of meetings in Nevada. Will Nevada get a gas stimulus? Well, stay tuned. I'm Sal Capano. I greatly appreciate if you hit the like and subscribe to this channel right now. It's free to subscribe. Jump on board. We have a good time. We are blowing this station up and a chance to win a gas stimulus check from my pocket and a loyal subscriber pocket to your pocket. $25 a piece. Two lucky winners in a um, very short period of time. Um, I like to get to 2,000 subscribers soon. I'm going to give out the gas stimulus before that, but let's let's start popping this up. Also, live, um, I might hop on live tonight randomly just to talk whatever's on your mind, so stay tuned to the rest of this video. Now, um, here we go. I'm going to jump into the gas stimulus right now in New Mexico. So if you live in New Mexico, um, leave in the comments, you will be receiving a $1,000 uh, New Mexico state stimulus. Um probably some by, sometime by July. Also, Alaska is giving out $2,600 for gas. And, of course, California, the Golden State, giving out multiple stimulus. Now they're going to give out $800. Now, unfortunately, here in Nevada, Governor Steve Sisolak, I call him out. I'm calling him out. A lot of you subscribe who live here with me in this uh, beautiful, beautiful, God, it's just gorgeous day, 78 degrees. Uh, this governor, I don't know what's going on. Unsure himself. Horrible. That's not what this video is about. You think he would follow Gavin Newsom, but he just doesn't want to hear anything about it. Um, he says, oh, everything's fine. Conventions are back. We have great sports. He doesn't answer the question. So when I ask him, his chief of staff, about a gas relief here, as we're the second highest, forget about it. In Italian, we say un gats, which means nothing. Um, it upsets me. Uh, for the people living here. Let me jump on to the food shortage. Now, stay with me. Um, right now, there's a fertilizer shortage between um, Russia and Ukraine. Russia is number one in fertilizer. So now the crops and all the farmers, let me give you an example here. So there's farmer out of New Mexico, like stuff like corn, rice, and wheat. Um, they need they're, they're paying 232% more than they did a year ago for a nitrogen. All right, that's stuff that keeps your grass green, but also it's also good for fertilizer and manure and all that stuff. So they're paying so much, it's it's they can't plant as much. So there's going to be a shortage on the things I just said, like corn, rice, and wheat. And who's we're not going to go starving, but that same head, just for example, lettuce tomatoes rice that whatever you paid is probably going to go quadruple um and this is going to be why i think there should be some more stimulus and um if you're new to my station hop on board as i get deep into some of these things oil is still up gas prices haven't went down leave me in the comments below are they going down in your neck of the woods this is why on a federal level um i just came out of a meeting they're really talking about a 300 hour gas stimulus relief on a federal level the states i just mentioned and also states helping out of course here in nevada you're talking to a brick wall but here's the deal i just talked about these prices a farmer paying 232 percent there's the consumers they're going to plant less food so us the consumers are going to pay more so you have inflation on food now inflation on um um, I'm looking at this Bronco in front of me. It's a really nice Bronco. I'm like, eh, no, I like my Jeep better. All right, so I'll stick to the video. <laughs> Sorry, caught my attention here. Um, so we have these things. Um, and what is happening with this administration? So Nancy Pelosi will be speaking. I was hoping um, I can do this video in just a little bit. She's going to be speaking on, she's pushing, who's recovering by the COVID, by the way, um, on a gas limitus. And I don't know what the president of the United States is waiting on. I don't know if it's just all talk, like I read all your messages, but I'm just giving you the facts. I'm going to repeat it. Corn, rice, wheat, all these things are going to be a high demand on. Now, I'm not saying to go out to the supermarket now and buy all this stuff. Do not do that. It's the worst thing that we can do. Just like with the pandemic, with that toilet paper. But I'm just giving you the facts. I, I, you know, I dug into this deeply. So, um, are you in agreement? Should we get a $300 stimulus? 
They don't want to call it gas stimulus. Just call it a stimulus. Should the President Biden do an executive order? Um, what about the child tax credit? Has our government failed us in so many levels right now? Um, is it time? Let me ask you guys. Is it time for Biden now to step aside and let somebody else pick up? Look, everybody. We're back here in Las Vegas. People are making money. My business is doing good. It's not about that. We suffered a lot. And we're suffering. It's costing us more on everything. Are we supposed to just continue to go up on my rates? Am I supposed to go up on my personal training rates? I will not do that. No way. The government needs to step in and start helping the American people under 150000 right now. And they should. These prices are not going to go down. You think we're going to wake up tomorrow, they're going to be back down to $3 a gallon? Well, not. By Memorial Day, they're going to be up. So, I ask you guys to share this video. I really do. Hit the like button, share this video, get it out there. And I'm working hard with representatives here in Nevada. And I'm, my voice is your voice. And I'm letting them know. People, what are people supposed to do? You want to get everybody on Snap and, and welfare? No, that's not what we're about. We need help. We're coming out of a pandemic. And Dr. Fauci says, by the way, oh, it's going to be another wave coming much worse. With these gas prices, give us something. Give us the $300 a month. And this is ridiculous with this war, too, what's happening. It's a shame. But, yeah, these are facts on the fertilizer. So doubled in, uh, I said one year. Sorry, that farmer paid 232%. I was incorrect. In two years, it went up. So um, he's a farmer out in Mexico because of nitrogen. So um, so, so farmers are, are planting less, and that means there's not going to be demand on some of those items that we see on the shelves. Interesting. Uh, only on this channel you're going to get the up-to-date information. Uh, I greatly appreciate everybody tuning in today. I want everybody to have a safe Monday. And I might just be on live. I will give you a little notice. And we'll talk about what's happening um, and answer some of your questions. But um, I want everybody to say hello to somebody. Tomorrow's another day. And on this station, there's always a solution. All right. Take care.